Let's now talk about equalization. Equalization is a really fun and powerful tool, and there's, you're actually going to see there's a whole bunch of different ways to use equalization in Final Cut Pro. If you're not familiar with equalization and you don't really understand what it is or why you, we use it, uh, it's a really simple concept. Basically, you already understand what volume is, right? You understand that you can turn things louder and make them quieter. Well, imagine if you divide up the, the frequencies in your sound file, you know, the high-pitched and the low-pitched and the mid-tones, and you divide them all up into individual what we call bands, and you have different volume sliders for each of them. And so if you look at a basic equalization or equalizer, what you're seeing are basically a group of volume knobs, and you can turn up or down the volume on any of these knobs basically to control the sound of what you're listening to. If you adjust these sliders on the left, you're, adjust, you're affecting the low frequencies. If you affect these sliders on the, on the right, you're affecting the high frequencies. So we're, you know, you're adjusting the sound of your audio by controlling the volume of these different elements. That's the basic concept of what an equalizer is. But the truth is, you don't really even need to see this window with all these fancy little dots in order to make good use of it. You can use presets. And so first of all, I just want to point out that for any every clip in Final Cut Pro, you have under the audio pane in the inspector an area called audio enhancements. And the first thing here says equalization. And if you pop up this little pop-up menu, you can choose between a bunch of presets, voice enhance, music enhance, loudness, hum reduction, bass boost, treble boost, and so forth. And uh, I'll come back to match in a few minutes. That's a special thing where you can link the, the equalization of two different clips. But so if we set this to flat, uh, that's basically going to have all those volume knobs at the same level. If you set this to something like Bass Boost, if we go and look inside the equalizer, and you open the equalizer by clicking the little graphic icon over here to the right of the equalization parameter, it'll open up that equalizer, and you can see that the bass, the, the left side, has been increased. This is a Bass Boost. So this is showing you what the Bass Boost looks like. Um, you can flatten, this is like a way to, to neutralize the settings here. Just click Flatten EQ, it's going to reset that to normal. I'll close that window. I'm just going to show you one more. If I go to something like a hum reduction, and then I look at the equalizer for that, this is just taking out one area here, and it's the area where hum is most likely to occur. It's just reduced that dramatically. When you're in this graphic equalizer, you can choose to view 10 bands, meaning 10 little sliders, or 31 bands, which looks a little bit more crazy because there's so many more, uh, you know, a lot more precise control. It's pretty rare that you're going to be adjusting a single one of these bands. The way we typically use this window is you drag across a group of bands that you want to move together. And then I can grab across this area. And as I lower them, you see I'm moving them in, in a group like that. And then maybe you might make individual adjustments. Deselect there. Just click outside to deselect any of those blue boxes. And then you can make individual adjustments to clean it up or to create a more smooth ramp between different sounds. So this is just to sort of show you how this basic thing works. You can just grab these things. Of course, you want to be playing your clip while you're making these adjustments. And so this is a good opportunity to select your clip and use the play selection command, which is the forward slash key. And, that's, and if you turn on looping, which you do by clicking this little blue button here or pressing command L, it's going to just keep looping your playback. And then we can go into our equalizer here and make changes. So they go around again and lower all these. And now you hear how all the bass has been removed. Or if I bring that up, you can hear how the bass has been brought up. Right. So depending on the settings you make, you're going to see a live reaction right there in the timeline. You can listen to it. So that's the first tools you can use for doing your equalization. You can use one of these presets. And even after you've used in a preset, you can go in there and further customize it by clicking on the, uh, the graphic equalizer button there. And you can choose between the 31 bands or the 10 bands and so forth. 